Okay, so I'm making this video because I spent the better part of the last week searching the internet trying to find enough videos that would explain in detail how I would want to do the project I wanted to do on this trailer. So hopefully this video will help out somebody that's trying to do the same thing I was. So as you can see, I have a regular 12-foot cargo trailer. It came equipped with a four-prong uh, outlet from the, uh, or connect from the truck, the standard light switch, uh, which got power only when it was plugged into the truck, but not only that, the truck also had to have lights on. So I wanted to change that. That was the first intent of what I wanted to do here. However, I also thought along the way, why don't I just go all in and add 110 power as well? So I kind of complicated the project. So last year, I actually installed a seven prong outlet to give me power into the trailer uh, so I could actually run brakes. So that was a pretty easy project. So I was going to go and just install a battery here like this one, which would then give me power uh, to be able to run my lights. And uh, I was installed on the tongue. Uh, I would run power, uh, or sorry, I would connect to the uh, uh, trailer outlet to uh, trickle charge the battery, and then I'd provide power to the lights and, and, and solve the problem. But I also wanted to then take it one step farther and be able to provide 110 uh, outlet power. So this project was actually pretty easy. And let me show you how this works. So uh, what you have here is a gel, uh, what's this saying, a uh, deep cycle battery uh, connected directly to an inverter. Uh, and that's your 110 power. Now, the cool thing about this, you'll notice it's off, is that this particular one also comes with this power remote. So you press the button. Go back over here, the inverter is back on. Pretty straightforward. Now, the other thing that we wanted to do here was then be able to run the uh, DC current directly. So we have two outlets here, or two connections here. One is going to the inverter. The second one is now going up to this fuse box. From this fuse box, now we're running the power directly to the lights. This fuse box is grounded, plus it has a neutral connected directly to it. And what that allows me to do is now run the power directly to, to the switch. Uh, and because each light is grounded individually and the fuse box itself is grounded, I can now get lights. Pretty cool. Uh, the other thing we have here is uh, my power source is a uh, solar panel. It's a flexible solar panel. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how to install those. There's enough videos around there. But this is pretty cut and dry, straightforward. Uh, just power in, comes in through the roof here, runs down here, connects, uh, shows me what, how I'm charging, uh, keeps everything topped off. So pretty straightforward, pretty cool design. Uh, and I look forward to using it this weekend.